You want to give all praise to Yahweh? Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. The Bible says, El is an apostle of great millstone, a salutation to elect. The apostle of truth in the four corner island by ways. We do a short, a short lesson to edify, edify the um, sincere, sincere Hakim and Akwat. Okay. This um, proverb chapter, chapter 26 and verse 4. Answer, answer not a fool according to, to his folly, lest thou also be, be like unto him. So therefore we shall answer fool according to his folly. Like how some, some, some foolish question, question to tutor will come and give you, asking you for making you look, for making you look stupid in his, in, his, in his wicked ways okay. and stuff like that because why? They, they are with foolishness. They never come with nothing really, really, really properly for actually. Hey, how can we get salvation? How come, how come we could do for, for get right, right to your bash and your shy? Just like oh, today, one of them was coming asking me a foolish question, like um, like um, he was saying um, he was saying, what is what what is think thinking and 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 how do you think? Side side <laughs> answer telling. This Bible is make I think. This this, uh, this is this make I think. I can't think without this wisdom and understanding. Cause just by going through these scriptures, show me how to live and how to go about in, in 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 my business and eating and stuff like that. He said no. He want the question. No, he want the answer. <laughs> you know what kind of answer you looking for? Just why you just why you use wisdom in all things. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, pull it, pull it, please. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is our uh, first Timothy, it's two, um, or second Timothy, two and sixteen. Second Timothy, or second Timothy, two Yeah, this is our uh, second Timothy, two verse sixteen. It says, "But shun profane and vain babbling." For they will increase unto more unright ungodliness. Can. This um this um this Jeremiah chapter four verse twenty two. For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are they are such as children. Oh shit! They are foolish. They are stupid. They are they are yeah they are yes yeah, lucky. They are such as such as children and they have not understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have none they have no knowledge so you see to do good they have no knowledge they have no understanding but to do foolishness they're wise in that they're wise in the wise in for the dark foolishness the wise to do foolishness and bear foolish and bear foolish question they will come and ask you. Well, 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 well something for benefit them will well, be good in in the long run. They wouldn't they wouldn't ask you no question like that. Okay. That priest of Yeah, this is um Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament. Um chapter eight. Chapter 8 and verse 11. It reads, <clears throat> 8, 8, no, it's 10, it's like you. Yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 11. It says, Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. So, as a snake, he need no reason for bite nobody or no, pro no, no, prov no provoking. Um, element so to speak influence it can bite same thing with a fool he can just pick a dry story and want to talk about shit you understand and i show you was sitting on mind your own business and he come and ask you the question right no i was i was trying to show 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 is right we are we are we are is we are israel okay. you understand he come we come with you with nonsense interjecting for bring nonsense in in righteous conversation can can it says, verse 12, The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. See that? 
because you were showing the, showing the Israelite person grace. The grace he held by Hashem Yoshai, through the spirit, of course. But the fool swallow, swallow up himself. He come for glory for himself. Anyway, it says, um, let's see here. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. We're <laughs> <Spirit>, uh. <laughs> <Spirit> madness. <laughs> Jake is a talking buddy. Like me, uncle. I talking to you and he say you know he could get a trip to China and thing like that, right? So I um I say you know the you know the um the, the translating the Bible the, the translating the Bible to their own words in, in, in China, right? I was like, yeah but I mean I was like yeah that mean a lot because the, the most I name don't change how much or the don't try to change the most I name how much umpteen times much as much as when they change it to the and you know his story go on and on and he ramble on and so forth and he, he didn't understand why he show you through scripture while he just running him out you know and this this um babylon's that can spit out um, madness it says verse 14 a fool also is full of words a man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him who can tell because the story long who knows what could come out of a fool mouth right but it's about it uh. yeah, This is uh, Sirach chapter 21 and verse 14, right? It's, no, I read 13, it says, The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. And like the brother was going into, he was teaching. <coughs> um, verse 4 it says, The inner parts of a fool are like a broken <laughs> vessel, and he will not, oh, and he will all know knowledge as long as he live it can see it says if a skillful salaki let me jump down more verse 16 it says no. the talking of a fool right, is like a burden in the way but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise you know like when these foolish people talk it's like it's like a burden like you fetching a heavy load can. you know it, it's, it's, it's annoying one it ain't no knowledge in within it you can't learn nothing from it you know yeah God. This is Proverbs chapter 15. The Proverbs chapter six. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse and verse 7. The lips of a white of a wise this this put what? Disperse. Yeah, disperse knowledge. But but the heart of a fool done do it, do, not, do, so. Do it not so. So yeah. you see a wise man he will he will carry out knowledge all over. Okay, okay. But a fool he will he will never do that. Okay. He, he just utter foolishness all the time. And he time carry foolishness foolishness all over and all too. Read verse two, Babusha. Yeah. Um I um Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse two. The tongue of a wise Use knowledge aright, but the mouth of a fool pour pour out foolishness. So you see, the, the the mouth of a fool pours foolishness. Why? They will they will never speak righteousness. They will never speak about of their salvation. They will speak bare ignorantness. Just utter just nothing, no good, no good for the for any soul. Uh, yeah, this is um, Sirach 22 and verse 11. Yeah, Sirach chapter 22, verse 11, it says, Weep for the dead, for he had lost the light, mm. and weep for the poor, for he wanted understanding. It says, Make little weeping for the dead, for he's at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Ah. See? Verse 7 it says, Seven days do men mourn for him that is dead, but for a fool and an ungodly man all the days of his life. Verse 13, right? It says, Talk not much with a fool, ah. and go not to him that had no understanding. You know, because when you talk with fools, guess what? They, they just uh, present the, the foolery, the folly, and if, you, if you're not stable, you know, you could be caught in the trap. That's why the scripture says in Sirach 14, it says, um, 
he that had fellowship with a with, with a proud man shall be like unto him. You know? Because right. wherever you are wrong, this will you become. Alright? That's why the scripture say talk not much with a fool. Right. And go not into and go not and go not to him that had no understanding. Beware of him lest he have trouble. And thou shalt never be defiled. And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Exactly. Alright? Depart from him and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. Yeah. This um this um Proverbs chapter Proverbs chapter one and verse and verse five. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall utter wise counsel. See see? A man will understand will utter wise counsel. Attain Yeah, yeah, attain wise wise counsel because why? We used to be talking foolishness and stuff like that, backbiting um, brothers and, and speaking evil and stuff like that. So we up, obtain wise counsel. This Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7, the fear of Yahweh, the fear of Yahweh is, is beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So you see foolish men, they will despise wisdom and instruction. Kawai. He come there despising wise wise counsel, wise wise instruction, but he want to utter his foolishness. Cause on top when when I answer, he he like the answer. He want to give a foolish answer. Cause I tell you, hey, this is this this how I think. This scripture make I think properly. I think this scripture is it is it is my thinking. I can't think no other way. No other way I, I can't think. I gotta use scripture for and think, think ahead, how to live, how to carry out wisdom, and stuff like that. You know what I got one here. Ah, pull it. You got one here? Yeah. Where are? It's four Samuel two and three. <laughs> First we're gonna read from two. It says there is none holy as Yahweh, the ah. Lord. For there is none besides thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Right? It says, talk no more exceedingly proudly. Ah. Right? Let not arrogance arrogancy come out of your mouth. For Yahweh is a power of knowledge. And by him actions are are win, are win, right? So it's like saying you put in forth your words is supposed to show your fruits, right? We are we are about uh, and and we are doing, right? So so do you find these folly? These people asking some foolish question. The scripture even says that um, the heretic after the first and second admonition, you know, reject. Even a man that come up with another doctrine, you know, don't give him any God speed, okay. right? And, and and he don't even know he get the best answer, but he refuse it, <laughs> right? Because the scriptures are so said, Yahweh Shai words, he said that the um the world know it not, they don't uh -huh. know the spirit, right? The the, the, the light the light was there and the, and the new and not, see? Okay. A precept. Is um Sirach chapter chapter twenty and verse five. Sirach, yeah. Yeah, and it reads, "There is one that keepeth silent and is found wise; another, by much babbling, becomes hateful." All right straight to the point some some man holdeth his tongue because he hath not he hath not to answer and some keep it silent knowing his time so he thought he he it was he right time for interrupt wise counsel you understand 
but they just prove that he's a fool and you know lord willing the person remember when the fool approach and the wise counsel of what, what, what um akpar tam was bringing out right is um verse 7 says a wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity but a babbler and a fool regard no time all right it says he could have stand up and wait till you finish probably ask a question or something but you know what the scripture said well fool rage is rage at on okay. it says um he that uses many words shall be abhorred and he that take taketh to himself authority shall be hated but the main point is he that uses many words shall be abhorred just get to the point straight into the point you understand and if you know something shut up yeah go that yeah it is it for me Just click the match, man. Click his store to my voice, man. Yeah, probably 13. Um, yeah, this is 2 Timothy 2 and verse 20. Yeah, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 21. From 21, right? From 22, it says, Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the name of Yahweh out of a pure heart okay. you know, so you know you go after these things with the, with the brothers the brothers that are laboring in the truth see verse 23 says but foolish and unlearned questions avoid okay. knowing that they do gender stripes you know because okay. there the, 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 the are simple things that you've been in this truth that you don't want to hear you know and there's simple thing that would piss you off okay. Okay. you know because it's, it's folly it's ignorance okay. No? So when they come up with them with them sort of questions, we have to do avoid it. Because you can just lead to uh, more unrighteousness and strife. Yeah, and if I may uh, finish? Yeah, the, like the scripture says in Ecclesiastes that the ears is never satisfied with hearing. Because even in your sleep is here. You understand? So you know it's gotta learn for put no way for put a stop to these 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 foolish babbling that these people come wrong with, you know. And and it getting worse and worse, you know. I, I go to work and as soon as you go in people wanna talk a set of shit. It's like we just stick to the work the man. You got time and thing for everything, but all the time a majority of the time you wanna just bring up foolishness. Yeah, can you find precept? This is my true story thing for us, nineteen. It says When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then come as a wicked one and catch it away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which is received his seed by the wayside. Ah. Right? And really and truly, the person I was talking about is a uh, Job Witness he was speaking with. Okay. And, they, um, <laughs> and he just come and walk in, asking some rhetorical question too. Yeah. So he's just showing he's a wicked one too, you know? <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, like Yahweh should I say he are of the father? Yeah, he are of your father the devil. Okay. I'm gonna preach to be here, yeah, preach to be here. um Job chapter yeah. Job chapter six and verse twenty-four. Teach me and I will hold my tongue and cause me to understand. Where, where it, where it, I have hair. So therefore, he serves the holy tongue and holy tongue and, and take wise counsel. Can't, can't. But he just want, he just want babble his mouth. Uh, this foolishness all right time. When foolishness come about. He have a holy tongue. So therefore, he, 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 he get it something properly. But you no, know, they want to bring foolishness. And this proverb chapter fifth, yeah, proverb chapter fifteen. Um, verse, verse 9, so start of verse 8. 
the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination on <coughs> the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination to the Yahweh, but the praise of the upright is delight. Prayer. Yeah, the prayer of the upright is delight. Mm -hmm. The way of the wicked is abomination unto Yahweh, but he that loves him follow after righteousness. Okay. Why you follow after these 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 good deeds, these good good ways, the good news you're gonna follow. You're gonna, you're gonna follow, but, but the way of, of the wicked is abomination. You just think about these abominable things, acts, talking, going, eating, every single thing they just doing foolishness and abominable. Okay. You know you're gonna Go on. Ecclesiastes 5, right? Go ahead. And verse 2, and we come. It says, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the power. Go ahead. For the power is for a dreams come true, the multitude of businesses, and a fool's voice is known by the multitude of words. Right? Because he coming to you for ask a question. We say it was an edifying question. Yeah, some edifying question. Uh, question to edify. Basically, he he so built up with folly, he had to get it out. <laughs> right? It's like he got his, yeah, he got a passion, he got a passion for for sheer shit. <laughs> yeah, sheer shit. <laughs> and, and like if and like your shit is good <laughs> and when you don't know it's no good yeah the scripture slack here I finish go on the scripture says um, apostle said that um, I count everything about this in this world but dung okay. but last that he may gain you have a shy but he count everything else of this world but dung but he hold on upon the shit like it's gold you know <laughs> I hold on upon the shit like it's gold buddy you finish ya yeah, this is Sirach 19 and verse 12, right? <laughs> Sirach 19, let me go up, let me go up. Yeah, verse 11, right? It says, A fool travaileth with a word as a woman, as a woman in labor of a child. <laughs> you know, like, like these, <laughs> like they just got to speak, you know? Like when a woman in labor, she just want to get it out. God, you know, God, God. when the contraction it it she, she just want to push out the baby as soon as possible. Just the same thing with these fools, you know. Imagine it's like this, right? Right. It's like being in the most. I, I want like right? it's something that it's something that it's come across this flesh at times. It might get a secret or something you might gotta tell one person, but because this one person ain't come in time, somebody else come before. It's like shit. Can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> itching. Yeah, 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 tell the yeah. person. It's back in the world. But though. for a fool, it's something he can't handle. Okay. A man learn no when to, you know? Mm. So, <laughs> right, that's how you bring but it, it's, it's like an excited emotion. He's like, what is it again? The S is um, dopamine. Dopamine, yeah. Dopamine is what he suffer from. <laughs> God. Yeah, it says, a fool. Verse 12 it says, an arrow that stick it in a man's tie. So is a word within a fool's belly. That's why I get to tell that. <laughs> Pain. Good, good. Young Tom and Jerry Card. So when I'm like, I'm on the finger to check for Willem Oak. Yeah, card. Yep, yeah, um, go to four screens, Jones, three and verse. Verse 19. First Corinthians chapter three and verse nineteen, for the wisdom of this war is foolishness, foolishness, with the power, for it is, it is written, he that take the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, yeah take it the wise in their own craftiness. You see, these wicked ass, these wicked ass people take the wise in their own craftiness. They believe what what author is, is, is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Most I say that wisdom of this world is no good. Then I appreciate Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 24, and verse 7. Mm. Yeah. 
wisdom is too wide for a fool. He open, he open, he open, not his mouth in the gate. So you see, wisdom is too wide, too wide for a fool. So therefore, you open not in mouth in gate because why you want to open mouth with a, with a proper wisdom. You just open mouth with foolishness. Thirty-two. I read from eight. Thirty-two and eight. Yeah, yeah I read from seven. Yeah. Okay, you gotta understand the thing with these fools, right? They lack discipline. Can. So when we when we come in come into this truth, there's something that you know the bigger brothers, the apostles and elders, does always stress on. Can. You know that discipline. All right. This is Sirach thirty-two. And seven, it says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, mm -hmm. and yet scarcely when thou art asked twice. You know, and there's this straight to the point. See, you ought to speak when, when there's a need. Okay. You know, if you don't uh, have a need to say anything, you know, you just don't say anything. Okay. The scriptures say, um, um, If you have not to, some man hold it his tongue because he have not to answer. Okay. You know, but these fools, whether they know or know not, they're going to say something. All right. Um, eight. It says, "Let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. Be as one that knoweth, and yet all it is tongue." Yeah. And there's something that a fool would never do: know something and shut him out. Once a fool knows something, the entire world gonna know that he know it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And most of the time, the thing that they think, the the things that they think they know, they don't know anything. Yeah. You see. Right. You feel me right now? Huh? Like when you show when you show fool something at work, right? Hey, this is how you do this for it. Oh, I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. You know, I just forget. <laughs> like some people you might that's some meaning of words also. Yeah. And you say, well, and when you tell them it, oh, I didn't know though. So, so why the hell that for us to say it in? See? Right? It says, it says, be as be as one that know it and yet all it is tongue. All right, verse 9 it says, If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal, equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. You know, because these, these, yeah, can't, you know, men with experience. And like the scripture saying on um, Sirach 3, right, that we know more than men, than men um, perceive, yeah. right? So, brothers in this truth, all right, they, 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 they are ancient men. To, to people that are not in the truth. The power this knowledge. Exactly. Because, because the person was an elder person that came to ask the foolish oh. question, but the best answer I give that was simple, right? Use this word as a defense. This word is much ancient than he. Exactly. Than you know? So you get in this knowledge, you are, you are an ancient man to these fools. See, and they don't, under, they don't understand that. They lack that discipline, you know? For, for when ancient men are in place or men with knowledge, men with understanding, you know, for them to listen and learn something. Okay. You know? Yeah, this is it, huh? Yeah. Go to um, yeah. in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceived he deceive it he se himself. Yeah. So you see, he believing he knows something wise, but he know he deceiving himself. Because yeah. he know nothing. He believe he is something. Yeah, I know this and I know that. When there's nothing he know. Because the foolishness is, is nothing. Yeah. So imagine if a, if a wise man, the scriptures say if a wise man knows something and still act like he know, and a fool just looking for every occasion for, for spill out whatever folly he's about to spill out. Yep. You know? He really deceiving himself. God. You know? Yeah, this is uh, Job chapter 8. Oh, oh, I get that. Hmm. 8 and verse 9. It says, For we are but of yesterday and know nothing. Because our days upon the earth are a shadow. 
right? So we bought of yesterday and know not. And so all the knowledge that we think we know, we know not. The scripture said, a man even at his best is nothing. In Psalms, roughly paraphrasing, right? Man his best state is as nothing. So, you know, fool can be proud, a fool can ex express all the things that not written in scriptures. And that's why, you know, access to the spirit, he's thinking through the book and he rejects the knowledge. That's why the scripture said that the fool cannot attain like a broken vessel, both broken pot shirt. Yep, he yep. can't hold it, he can't comprehend it. <clears throat> he holds on upon the philosophies of some stupid ass book he reads, much as, much as the wordy how about Shimmy Aushai. Can't show new wine into old bottles. Can, yep, can. Yep, yep. Yeah, he said this. How is this? Isaiah 55 and verse. Ah, eight. verse eight. Can yeah, 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 yeah. You see, Isaiah 55 and verse eight. Mm -hmm. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. See, yeah, how was? See, ah. see, just by just by telling you, I can't, I can't give no foolish answer. I got Gil, 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 the most I, the most I, how the most I teach you how to think of someone's forever and how to thought. You understand? By following the most I way and order. Because why? Our ways is foolishness. God. And our thoughts is fully foolish thought. Going on, more verse, verse 9. For as, for as heaven are, are higher than the earth, so are my ways. So are my higher than your ways my and thoughts yeah yeah are my thoughts higher than your thought and yeah oh slack you yeah slack. Read back, read back, read back. yeah verse 9 for 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 as heaven are higher than than the earth mm -hmm. so are my ways higher than your ways okay. and my my thoughts than your thoughts okay. so you see the most high thoughts are, are our thoughts by using these scriptures so you're, going, you're using this scripture, doing righteousness, following it, and thinking like this scripture, like doing a kind of way, say that you thought is gonna be higher and two third thought. Because why you're thinking of doing righteousness can, can. and and follow it and, and endure unto unto the end. Can. You know what it was? Yeah, what it was. That's like God said, right? Um to follow the book, follow the scriptures, right? Read this, here. this is our first Corinthians three. Go on, go ahead, huh? Yeah, it says, "Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem it to be wise in this world, let him become a fool." Right, so we, we put away everything that you learn in the world. Mm. You know, you become a fool, become a face, like a blank page, right? Blank so, canvas, if yeah. I may. Become a fool that he may be wise. See, and they, that's the only way you're gonna get his knowledge. All right, if you become a fool, you know, not not hold on to being a fool. Can, can. You know? <laughs> but just be as one that, that don't know anything, so you could receive this knowledge. And this, this, you, you thinking through this book, and allowing this, this the scriptures to you know do what it does, you know. Yeah. Yeah, please. Go to um, um, Psalms chapter ninety-four and verse eleven. This one. Trust in us. Yeah. Um, verse eleven. Yeah. Psalms chapter ninety-four, verse eleven. So yeah, how I know the thoughts of man. That they are vain, they are vanity. So you see, vanity means nothing, no good, filthy, every single thing. Because why can't get nothing good, good come from vanity? Because the most I say, man, thoughts are vanity. Let me show you, and, and, he, and, he come, and he come with any foolish question, and he a proper answer, he vex. He want that. He want to leave bare vanity and foolishness. Anything or and we close that back. Yeah, Hear that we want to give all praises to so, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rukakadash, 
Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yeah. And hopefully this um, edify the um, brothers, the sincere brothers, and the sincere Aquat who find Yahweh Bashi and Shai in sincere. Shalom. Shalom.